What is up, everybody? Welcome back to uh, to my live stream. I haven't done a live stream in a long time, and uh, I'm here tonight to talk about whatever. I feel like I'm very close to the camera right now. I might have to fix that. Um, but this is an Ask Me Anything. I didn't really have anything planned on the agenda tonight. I just wanted to go live because I haven't done it in such a long time. It's been about two months since I've gone live on this channel, and I'm like, I need to make something happen tonight. So I'm here. So if you guys have any questions, anything you want to talk about, doesn't have to be a question, just a topic to bring up and I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. Uh, feel free to do so in the chats. And I guess I should ask first, can you all hear me? Can you all hear me? All right, here we go. Let me back this up a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since I used that YouTube uh, or StreamYard counter as well. That's old school right there. I haven't done it in a while. Uh, let me go to the comments real quick. Okay, you guys can hear me? Good. I didn't check my mic settings or anything like that, so I was hoping that I was good to go. Yeah, it's been a while, guys. It, it's been a while. I I am not going to be doing um, the stream on Sunday night anymore. I know that for a fact because now I've kind of changed the way I film things. And um, I'm filming the physical media report on Sunday night, which I didn't used to do. I used to do it on Monday um, morning into afternoon. But it just got to be so much uh, to do all that in one day. So I like filming the night before and then I get the morning the next morning to edit everything and get it all ready. And I find that to be much less stressful. So not going to be doing a, a stream on Sunday night anymore, but I do want to start getting back into a regular uh, rotation with live streams and stuff because I do love uh, doing the live streams. I think they're super fun. Um, so maybe Tuesday nights, Wednesday nights possibly might be my new uh, night for streaming. And it might be once a week. It might be once every other week or something. I'm just going to try to keep it regular uh, for sure. But Kevin Kruger is asking, please do a full Blu-ray collection video. If I do that again, it will be live like this. And I'll be doing a live stream for like six hours or something. I don't even know how I, how I would pull that off live because when I've done them in the past, like I have to take off like whole sections from my shelf, bring it over here, um, and then show them all off one by one. And then I have to basically pause the video, then go back, put all the Blu-rays up that I just got and then bring over the next section. And that was back when I only had like two shelves full. Like I've got five shelves worth of Blu-rays now. Um, it is, I think it's been three years. I think it's been three years since I've done an entire Blu-ray collection video. And that was three hours. Maybe the best way to do it is to just take my phone over there and just go through them all one by one while they're on the shelf and not bring them over here. But I just feel like if I'm going to do it, I want to go all out. I feel like that's the lazy way to do it. Um, I want to bring them over here and I want to show them off uh, one by one. But I, I definitely thought about wanting to do an updated video and not breaking it into parts. Just doing it all in one video, like all the boutiques, all the 4Ks, all the Blu-rays, just, just being a madman about it. But we'll see. I, I think doing it Maybe like pre-recorded on StreamYard like this might be easier. I don't know if my phone can handle six or seven or eight hours worth of footage. That might be the way to go. Um, but I don't know. But if you guys are just not coming in here, we got 108 people in here already. I didn't I didn't know if anybody joined tonight because I kind of put this together last minute and I haven't gone live in such a long time. Uh, but hit the like button and guys, ask me whatever you want. This is an ask me anything. If you got any questions for me, if you got any thoughts, uh, concerns. There's a lot going on in the world of physical media right now. Uh, feel free to do so. I, I would definitely appreciate the conversation. I want to be live tonight by uh, probably an hour, hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half, maybe. I don't want to do this all night. I just can't anymore, guys. I just can't. I got I got to be in bed earlier. I get up earlier now. And I've got a whole like new routine that I've that I've started. And to be honest, like I've been watching a lot more movies than I was before, and I'm trying to watch more movies. And I'm trying to do other things as well. Um, I just need more time. I just need more time. So I can't be on here for three hours uh, like I like I was in the past. But so I might not be able to get to everything. But if you drop a question, I will for sure uh, get to that. And we do have a super chat down here already. Lee the Machine, thank you so much, man. Nineteen ninety nine. You are a machine. I appreciate that. 
Uh, I think Kino Lorber should get the rights to surf ninjas and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one through three and do them both 4K. I love Kindergarten Cop and Face Off 4Ks. I got faith in Kino Lorber. For sure, man. Look, I, I would be happy at this point if anybody did surf ninjas um, on 4K. But what I want for surf ninjas is a Vinegar Syndrome VSU edition because ever since they did Sidekicks, that's another kind of ninja movie from my childhood that I loved. I feel like they could do Surf Ninjas justice with a nice, cool box set. You could have the Sega Game Gear like on the back with Rob Schneider. And I don't know, it'd be awesome. I haven't seen Surf Ninjas in like probably 25 years, but I remember watching it all the time when I was a kid uh, for sure. But thank you so much for the uh, Super Chat, Lee the Machine. And as for the Turtles, like, yeah, for sure. I, I want to see all. Uh, at least the first two movies on 4K. I don't I don't know if I ever want to watch the third one again. I'll probably watch the third one again just for nostalgia purposes. But let's go back up to the top, guys. Go through everybody one by one. If you're just not coming in, guys, ask me anything. Whatever topics you want to bring up. What have you guys been watching? And the big question, guys, I brought this up yesterday on the Physical Media Report. Have you gotten your Aliens, True Lies, and uh, the Abyss 4Ks in? Let me know that in the chat as well, and we'll kind of go over that. I do have my true lies. I got this in yesterday. I showed it off in my community uh, post and I also showed it off in the physical media report. So it's no secret I have this. Um, I watched the first hour and a half this morning and I'm going to finish it when I get off of this stream or maybe early tomorrow morning. I got a dentist appointment tomorrow. Um, so I, I don't know if I'll get it tomorrow morning, but I'll definitely have it watched by tomorrow and I'm going to shoot my review and hopefully have my review up on the channel on Thursday, Thursday or Friday, but I'm, I'm really not in a rush because I'm already behind. Like everybody and their mama has already talked about these four Ks. I'll get to it when I get to it. And I just, I'll trust my audience that you guys want to hear what I have to say. And no matter when I put it up, you guys will watch. So, uh, but true lies. I, I started it this morning and there's definitely a lot to talk about. There's, there's definitely a lot to talk about, uh, with this. I'm, I'm excited to, um, to dive into it. But as for the movie, like I've always, I've always liked true lies. It's never been one of my favorite nineties action films. Um, and I'll, I'll say this after watching the first hour and a half, haven't watched the last 40 minutes. It's still not one of my favorite action films. It's a very good action movie from the nineties. But if we're talking Arnold Schwarzenegger in the nineties, like this may be controversial, but I actually like uh, eraser a little bit better. I, I hope we get a 4k of eraser. I think that's a really cool movie. That's really slept on from Arnold Schwarzenegger's filmography for sure. But I do like true lies guys. I like it a lot, but there's a lot of, a lot of silly stuff going on in the movie. It's, it's a good action movie, but it's, I don't think it's great, but it, it was a fun kind of memory trip because I haven't seen it in a long time. All right, back up to the top. Brian Bradshaw. Hi, Ken. I just saw uh, Thanksgiving. It was awesome. I watched Thanksgiving um, a few weeks ago on uh, on Netflix. And uh, me and my wife watched it, I think, Monday. It was like a Monday afternoon or something. Um, and I enjoyed it, too. I thought it was pretty good. Um, it was pretty basic, you know, slasher stuff. But I thought it was pretty good. I like Patrick Dempsey. And I thought the cast was was pretty good. Uh, let, me, let me scroll down here to the bottom. I got another super chat. And from Planet CHH, uh, thank you so much, Christian. Uh, why are you actively stopping the 4K release of the Flintstones where Fred and Dicta Bird uh, stop the evil Mr. Vandercave? I would never stop a 4K release of the Flintstones, Christian. I, I do love the Flintstones just as much as you. I grew up with those movies. Uh, maybe not Viva Las Vegas, Rock Vegas as much, but for sure the first one I watched all the time. So I would love a 4K release of the Flintstones and let Vinegar Syndrome do that one too. I would love a VSU edition with Bonnie and uh, Fred on the front. That would be awesome. With Dino on the back. with You could do all kinds of cool stuff with that artwork. You know, you could slap Halle Berry on there as well. But uh, thank you so much, Christian. But yeah, I, I don't know where, you, where you're getting your information from, but um, I would never stop a 4K of the Flintstones. Come on now. All right, let me go all the way back up to the top. Um, and I noticed my my screen went went out. Let me try to turn this back on. I had Ransom on and I, I put it on because I just did a video where I was talking about Ransom. That's going to drop later this week. Um, and I started watching some of it. It's a really good movie and I might finish it. 
uh, when I get off this stream, but also I have to finish True Lies. I've got, I don't know if you guys are like this, but it's like movies keep pulling you in like all these different directions. It's like, I got to finish this movie, but I want to watch this movie. I don't know. Is that just me? Maybe it's the way I watch movies and I like rarely get to finish a movie when I start it. Um, it's rare. I watch a movie from start to finish. That's a weird, it's a weird thing. I know that's not everybody's like that. Come on now. I might just turn it off if it's going to keep doing that. All right. Uh, but I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm trying to use my TV as like, um, like, um, God, what, what am I trying to say? Like a background prop, like aesthetic uh, for the room. And I try to match up what's on the TV to what I'm talking about. I want what's on the TV to match my video in some way, shape or form what I'm talking about in the video. Uh, let's see. Johnny 82 Utah says, I refer to you on all media news. When are we getting Terminator? I, the word on the street is we're getting it this year. The word on the street is we are getting it, um, this year. Oh, the movie just started playing. Um, I'm just going to pause it. Um, yeah, we're supposed to be getting Terminator this year. I mean, that's pretty much all that's left, right? I mean, if they want to do Piranha 2, the spawning, I think that's the other James Cameron movie, but I think besides the Terminator and then maybe redoing T2, I think that's all that's left for James Cameron. And it is the 40th anniversary of the Terminator this year. So it feels like this would be the time to do it. Um, and yeah, we did that, that Warner brothers, um, uh, not leak, but in information that came out about how they were, uh, polling, uh, their A plus members or something like that. Um, I did a video on that, like I think a month or so ago. Right. And, uh, yeah, I guess Warner brothers has control over the Terminator. So I think we'll get the Terminator this year. I, I wouldn't be surprised, like uh, prepare for a huge September. I wouldn't be surprised if we got the Terminator and if we got a nightmare on Elm street on 4k from Warner brothers in the same month, I wouldn't be surprised if we got both of them in the month of September, kind of like we got Poltergeist and the Lost Boys in September um, last year, because that's that's usually, or two years ago, that's usually the model for Warner Brothers. They will do their 4K, you know, horror, kind of spooky movies, which I would say Terminator's kind of horror adjacent. It's, it's almost like a slasher sci-fi movie. Um, they kind of do those kind of movies in September, so people buy them in time for October, um, I've just noticed that because Exorcist was released last year in September. So I, I think that for sure we'll get a nightmare on Elm Street in September this year. That's usually the um, Warner Brothers model. I think they also released The Shining in, in September as well. Uh, Astro Juicy's here. We got uh, Mo Lester in the chat. What a name. Uh, saw Red Rock West last night. Fantastic crime drama. That is a really good movie. Um, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it as well. I enjoyed it so much. I watched the other two films um, in that guy's noir trilogy with uh, Kill Me Again and The Last Seduction, which I enjoyed both of those as well. All right. Uh, finally got my 4K copy of The Abyss and True Lies. Awesome. Cal Bunga dude, what's up? What's up, Cal Bunga dude? We got Kevin Kruger here. We got Evelyn P. What is up, Evelyn P? Uh, we got Collector Movie Man here. We got L.A. Jewel here. We got um, Kevin Kruger. What, Ken, when, when are you reviewing Aliens? When I get Aliens, Kevin. When I get it, I will review it. I'm supposed to get it next Monday. Um, I kind of like that I'm getting them a little bit spaced out, if I'm being honest, because I got to focus on True Lies. I didn't have to, like, decide which one I was going to do first. So I focused on true lies and I want to watch the documentary, uh, the new documentary on here before I do the review, the never before seen documentary. And some people said they had some issues getting the stickers off of these. Um, I'm not even going to try. I think I'd just rather leave the sticker on. I kind of like um, the stickers being on the case or the slip cover. I don't know. I'm weird like that. It's almost like, um, you know, it's almost like a part of the edition. It feels like uh, to keep that sticker on. Um, but yeah, review and true lies supposed to get aliens next week. I will review aliens as soon as I get it um, or I'll watch it as soon as I get it, then get a review out next week. But we also got uh, uh, what's the what's the damn movie called with Edward Norton and Richard Gere uh, primal fear. That one's coming out next week on 4k uh, when evil lurks comes out next week. I've got that on pre-order. I'm excited to watch that. And uh, there's another bigger, Amelie, I think is coming out next week, but there was another steel book that I can't 
I think there's two steel books, Amelie, and then there was another one. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, I probably won't be reviewing Amelie, but I did get it because it was a nice steel book and I haven't seen the movie. All right, let's, uh, guys, we got another super chat. Let me scroll all the way down. A lot of people in here right now, 166 people. Thank you all so much for joining. Hit the like button if you haven't already. We got uh, Broke Brad with $5. Now you're really broke if you just donated $5 and you were already broke. Now you're super broke, Brad. Uh, who has the rights to Lethal Weapon series? They are leaving money on the table by not releasing tons of great movies. Um, uh, Warner Brothers. Yeah, I mean, they were supposedly working on another film and um, directed by Mel Gibson, but they haven't. I haven't heard any news about it ever since that was first announced. Uh, but the movies all need to be restored in 4K, and hopefully we get those this year. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let me go all the way back up. Guys, like I said, I won't be able to get to everything, but I appreciate everybody being in here. I try to get to as many people as I can. Uh, we got Griff in here. What's up, Griff? Uh, kind of a slow year in general general for me as far as collecting goes. It's been good on the wallet, though. I bet. I bet. I wish I didn't care about all this stuff. Um, yeah, probably, probably. Good. I mean, Tuesday used to be like my day for streaming. I used to do World's Biggest Collectors on Tuesday, and I used to do random streams on Tuesday. So, yeah, I like the Sunday just to kind of knock it out at the beginning of the week, and then I could focus on my content during the week. But it just, I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start filming stuff on Sunday night. So, to kind of get ahead. So, I think the Tuesday night stream might come back, and I might try to start doing morning streams again, too work those in. What's up, Don? Uh, I haven't seen Doom Part 2 yet. Uh, we wanted to go see it um, last week and just, I can't, we can't get a babysitter to, to watch the kids long enough to go, <laughs> to go see the damn thing. Uh, when are you going to do a video with the Dude Who Loves Movies? I've, I've done several videos with the Dude Who Loves Movies. He was on World's Biggest Collectors. He's been on a couple live streams I've done, round tables. Um, but I would love to have him back on for sure. I just, I haven't done a lot of I haven't done any guest things on this channel all year. Live streams, world's biggest collectors, um, any of that kind of stuff. Well, I did one. I did the uh, talk with Elliot Cohen, but that's it. Cinna Millennial, uh, hey, howdy, hey, Kim. What's up, man? Uh, we got AJ2003. Hello. Hello. Hello to you, sir. Uh, PlayStation Man72. Hello, Ken. What's up, man? What's up, Gus? What's up, Jerry at your geek? Uh, it's good to see you too, man. Um yeah, there. I mean, I talked about it in the physical media report yesterday, but uh, Bound, I'm excited to get. Um, and I might upgrade Blue Velvet. I might. Um, I haven't really decided yet. I, I probably won't do it right away, but um, the Underground Railroad, I'll probably get at some point in the sale. Uh, Moles, yes. Yes. Okay, everybody can hear me. Um, I finally caught up to the beginning of my life. <laughs> Uh, I haven't heard anything about Godzilla minus one yet. So there's been some rumblings here and there about a steel book overseas, but that's pretty much all I've heard about. Uh, hopefully we get it on, on 4k here with the black and white version and the regular version, both in the same set. Hopefully we don't have to buy it twice or anything. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for that to come to 4k. Where did you order your camera 4ks? I got mine. Okay. And on time through the Disney movie club, I got them at Am through Amazon. I made it, or I pre-ordered them a month early. I, I didn't think I would have a problem getting them, but I didn't know that Disney was going to uh, not be prepared. I should have known because they suck, but that's just the way it is. But um, I just I don't feel like canceling them and ordering somewhere else, and then maybe they're going to be late. I just rather keep it as is. The Abyss is still like April to May, so it's possible. Um, I do cancel that, maybe go with Walmart. I'm also going to go to Walmart tomorrow in person and see if they have it in stores. Eli Cortez, what's up? What's up, Eli? Uh, favorite movie of all time? I mean, right now, right now, today, you ask me that. Um, I mean, it. my go-to is like Empire Strikes Back, E.T., Back to the Future. They're all vying for the number one spot. But I would honestly throw Rocky up in there as well. Um, I don't know. I need to do my, I need to redo my top 50. That's something I, I take very seriously. So I want to make sure I get it right, but I'll just say empire strikes back because I think that was number one. The last time I did a ranking. Um, what's up, Kevin? What's up, Brad H? Uh, do you know anything about Leatherface TCM three? I mean, it's got a Warner archive Blu-ray. That's, that's pretty much all it has. I think, um, still haven't received true lies. That sucks, man. What's up, Adrian? Uh, Gator McCluskey's here, a film I wish would get 
uh, some Blu-ray love is uh, WW and the Dixie Dance Kings. I haven't even heard of that with Burt Reynolds. Uh, I believe it's one of the most expensive music rights films. Damn. Yeah, it'd be cool if somebody put that one out. I'm down for some Burt Reynolds anytime. Uh, hell yeah, the original Ninja Turtles and Surf Ninjas. Yes, yes. I love both of those. Got Kindergarten kindergarten Cop in today. No slip. I'm disappointed. L.A. Jewel, man, you got to jump on this stuff when it comes out, man. I mean, Kindergarten Cop, like you knew that one was going to sell. I'm actually kind of surprised, to be honest. It doesn't have a slip still. But with Kino, I've kind of learned to pinpoint the ones that I, I believe are going to be super popular. Um, and I can kind of gauge that just by the reception of people when I announce them. Uh, so I have that you know, like unique advantage, I feel like, because I'm kind of seeing everything and the reaction, everything as I'm talking about it on the channel. Um, so kindergarten cop is one that I did pre-order, uh, to get immediately when it came out. Um, monster squad was one I had to pre-order cause I thought that that was going to run out, uh, to live and die in LA. Like there's several keynotes that you can just kind of feel are going to sell out at least for the slip cover, um, right away. So I try to jump on those and then other ones like the Manchurian candidate that just came out, um, changing lanes. Like I don't see those selling out. I feel like I can get those with a slip in the sale somewhere down the line, but, uh, Anyone get bored with the vinegar syndrome output? I wish they would toss in a comedy or something different once in a while. I mean, that's the thing. I, I mean, I did a video about this on Sunday. I think they are doing different stuff. I mean, they're not really doing comedies. I, in general, I wish people would embrace comedies a little bit more in the boutiques. Like I, I wish there were, um, I wish there was a place for like special premium box set editions of classic comedies. Like that would be awesome. We got like a Caddyshack, um, you know, big premium edition or something. Um, you know, I would love that if comedies were embraced a little bit more, because I think that comedies are, I think that we need comedies right now. I just think that the human race needs comedies. We need to laugh. Things have just gotten too serious. And I don't think it's good for people to just watch horror schlock all the time. Uh, so, and that seems to get the most love with physical media. Let's face it, horror. And I love horror too. Like that gets all the special treatment with physical media. And I think we need more for action movies, comedies, um, especially comedies. So I I agree with you, and then I don't agree with you because I think Vinegar Syndrome has been doing different stuff uh, this year. I mean, they just put out a great Western movie, classic Western, Five Card Stud, and they, they don't really do a ton of that. Um, I got my Aliens, awesome. I got all three from Disney Movie Club, nice, nice. Uh, drinking game, take a shot every time Ken mentions his childhood. <laughs> I, do I mention my childhood that much? Uh, nice. Um, I could see them re-releasing all of them with Steelbooks later on down the line, kind of how they did. Well, they didn't do Avatar. Yeah, they did. They did the first Avatar like that, didn't they? They did a Steelbook this past December, I think. So, yeah, I could see them doing it. Um, but you got to think, that was Disney. Now it's owned by Sony. So who knows if it's going to be any, any different. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 was actually my first movie in the theaters. Man, it's bad now as an adult. Yeah, it is. Um, I haven't seen that movie in probably 15 years, but the, even the last time I watched it, I was like, I never want to watch this again. It's just a bummer. Um, the Abyss locked very good in 4K or looked very good in 4K, but Aliens was rough. Okay. I've heard from a lot of people, this is this is the consensus that I'm feeling. I haven't really watched anybody's reviews because if I'm going to talk about something, I don't want to watch people's reviews, but the consensus that I'm seeing just from people commenting and stuff is that the abyss looks the best, then it's aliens, and then it's true lies, um, which is interesting. And the abyss is the one I'm getting last. So uh, true lies looks great on 4K. Didn't watch aliens. Nice. I'm glad that you enjoyed it on 4K. I feel like people are just, you know, being very negative about the about this stuff, uh, which I got my own gripes and we'll, we'll talk about it. But. I didn't order Aliens, but I got the other two and watched them already. Nice. I uh, got my True Lies in last week. Nice. Glad, I, glad a lot of people are getting theirs in on time, though. Um, nice, nice. I'm, I'm excited to watch Aliens. It's been a while since I've seen it. Um, glad you got it. Uh, where'd you get the Blank Man Blu-ray? I told you all in the video I couldn't, I couldn't say where I got this stuff because the guy wants to remain anonymous, and I'm not going to reveal him on the channel but it was a subscriber i didn't i didn't pay for any of those they got sent to me um i know sloppy seconds has a lot but i don't know if that's where blank bank came from 
Uh, Matheson says, thanks for all the content. I've been rewatching all the Godzilla movies and prep for the new Godzilla Kong movie later this month. Currently in the 90s. I would love to go back and watch all the Godzilla movies because I've only seen a handful of them. Uh, there's a lot that I haven't seen. I've seen the first one. I've seen, I, I know I've seen another one like in the middle somewhere. Um, I've seen Godzilla 98 and I've seen all the new Godzilla. So I'm not, I'm in Godzilla minus one as well. So I need to watch more of the Godzillas. Um, Amazon notified me that I should be receiving True Lies this weekend. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Walmart is a, is a failure when delivering 4K media to stores. Yeah, it feels that way. I mean, I'm not getting them in my stores. That's for damn sure. But ho I see everybody else getting steelbook sections and their areas are stocked. And I just need to venture out, I guess, and try to discover more Walmarts. But I, the thing is, is that the Walmart I go to is like 15, 20 minutes away already as it is. And I'm not going to drive 45 minutes to an hour to a Walmart to get a steel book or see a steel book section, maybe once in a blue moon, but not every week. I'm not going to drive that far. Um, let's see. True lies and best streams on iTunes are excellent. Keeping an eye for the aliens bump up in quality from my Apple version. Nice. All right. Eraser is top three honorable for me. Such an underrated movie. Um, yeah, I love Eraser, man. I do. And, um, watching True Lies again, because I've watched Eraser within the past, I would say five to 10 years, time has no meaning anymore. So like five years ago was 2019 and that feels like it was like six months ago. Um, so probably like 10 years ago I watched it, but it's fairly recently and, um, I thought it held up excellent. Like I thought it was great. Um, and True Lies... I haven't seen him probably 15 years to 20 years. So it's been a while and rewatching it now. I like it, but I still think Eraser's better and it's super slept on. And yeah, Eraser's got Vanessa Williams. Come on now in her prime. Give me a break. Um, I'd like to see 4k collector's edition of Jennifer's body with lots of extras. Yeah, that would be great. That would be, I think second sight would be a, a cool. It, I, I could see second sight doing Jennifer's body. I could really see them doing it. Um, Carry 4K from Shout Factory came loose. That sucks. That sucks, Mohawk Vader. Um, oh, glad you found the channel, dude. I found your channel a week ago. Ordered all the three camera and 4Ks from D Disney Movie Club. And it just shipped today. However, I just got Dark Water 4K, Ring 4K collection in the mail today. Can't wait to watch Dark Water. I haven't really talked about it on the channel yet, um, but I did watch that 4K. It looks really good, and I did enjoy the movie. Um I thought that the I thought it started a little stronger than it ended, but I ended up enjoying that one quite a bit. Um, pretty tense, pretty tense, and uh, a little creepy, for sure. Yeah, it's it's hard to sit through three hour movies anymore, uh, for sure. Um, I feel you on that. That's how my wife feels. Like if it's three hours, it's hard to even get her to watch it. But we did watch Killers of the Flower Moon, which is like four hours. <laughs> Uh, you get all my info from the physical media present. That's a good spot to get it, uh, Christian. That's a good spot to get it. Um, yeah, he doesn't spread false rumors at all. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, because of the delay, Amazon is refunding my account three cents. I'll try not to spend it all at once. Yeah, I think I got refunded like 14 cents or something. Um, can I have a creepy question? How tall are you? Thanks. Uh, six one, six one. So not super tall, but not short either. Um, which Spy Kids films out of the four would would like done on 4K? Um, I honestly haven't seen any of the Spy Kids movies. I know they're all directed by Robert Rodriguez, but I haven't seen them. Uh, so let me know what you would like. Uh, oh, glad you enjoyed that. Yeah, um, Christian was nice enough to invite me on his channel to talk about a slipcover obsession. So if you haven't checked out that video yet, uh, go check it out on his channel. Subscribe to his channel if you haven't. Uh, Christian has a great channel. It talks about uh, horror and physical media and action movies. Great stuff over there. And it was me, uh, Garrett from Born to Be Rad and him talking about slipcovers. I linked the video in my community tab earlier today. So uh, just hit that link and head over there if you want to watch the watch us geek out over slipcovers and nerd out. Uh, but have an honest conversation about why they're so important. Um Need Con Air and Gone in 60 Seconds with Nick Cage on 4K. I may or may not have talked about those in an upcoming video, but I've talked about them in the past a lot too. Um, 
Do you think anime is more popular in movies in general? Um, I don't know. Anime does seem to have a, a rabid fan base, but I'm just not in that world. Um, I am not six, seven. No. Uh, let's see. Let's see how far down we are. Um, I, I knew I missed another super chats. I saw it, but I didn't go down to it. Eight one eight Sega. Thank you so much. Hey dude, I'm about to watch black mass with Johnny Depp. It's a movie for some reason. I have never watched. Keep up the great work. I feel like that was one that I heard both good and bad things about. I never watched it myself, but I need to check it out at some point. I need to watch Black Hat from Arrow Video because I haven't watched that release yet. Um, but thank you so much for the Super Chat 818 uh, Sega. Let me scroll back up to the top. And uh, like I said, guys, I'm going to have to get through some of these. Yeah, I'm ready for it too. I love Terminator 1. Uh, right stuff about the space program. Yeah, they need to do a 4K of the right stuff for sure. Eyes Wide Shut would be the, this would be the year to do it, the 25th anniversary. Um, so yeah, is that, is that going to be Warner Brothers? I would say. The com, the com muter. <laughs> the cum muter. <laughs> that still makes me laugh. Uh, that's, that is on 4K, isn't it? Uh, we're getting the remake. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be something? Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, perfect memory, for sure. I mean, I already have a pretty decent memory when it comes to, like, just remembering, like, dates and when things happened and just remembering, like, specific moments in my life. Um, I feel like I'm pretty good at that. But uh, I would rather be able to, uh, I used to be able to like quote movies, like just off the top of my head, I could do entire scenes and I, I can't do that anymore. I'm just too old, but, uh, I don't want to read people's minds. I, I don't want to know what people are thinking about me. Um, I don't want to know what they're, uh, what they're saying in their heads. I just don't want to know that stuff. I don't need to know that stuff. And yeah, that I have no desire to, to know anything uh, about what people are thinking. Uh, T1 is sci-fi. Yeah, I mean, it's sci-fi. There's horror elements, though, for sure. For sure. Uh, receive my aliens in best habit, have them on 4K. Not perfect, but better than DVD of best and aliens. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely. Like, come on, guys. DVD, like, you are you really going to watch your DVD of True Lies over the 4K of True Lies? And I wonder, I have to imagine the, the Blu-ray in here is a 4K scan. Um, yeah, the movie is on here. I had to check real quick. The movie is on uh, True Lies. So, um, is this two discs? No, it's just one. I haven't really dug into it. I just popped it open and slipped in my 4K this morning. Um, but yeah, it's, it's gotta be, you know, gotta be better than DVD. I'm happy to have it. Uh, live action Papa. We've already had that. Yeah, uh, well, that movie does exist, Kevin. It's called Jason X. Go check it out. Oh, nice. Um, that's a great looking steelbook, though. I'm glad you got that, Skeps. I've heard the hair dryer trick. I need to do that. I need to do that. I would be afraid it would mess up the slip somehow, though. Um, possibly, possibly. I mean, Disney owns it, so it's, it's up to them and Sony at this point. I'm sorry, Johnny. It's, it's the nature. If I want to get anything watched, like that's just kind of the way I have to do it. I got kids and sometimes it's uh duty calls and I got to run away and do something else, or I get distracted by something else. And it just happens. And when I have time, if I have a spare hour, I'm going to start a movie. And even if I know I can't finish it and I'll pick it up later. And I don't really have a problem slipping back into a movie and getting right back into the feel of it. Uh, for sure. Sometimes I feel like it, it helps my experience with a movie. Um, Gugon took my stickers right off. Uh, does Walmart change pre-orders right away? Well, I don't know. I haven't really ordered a lot from Walmarts or you're asking scaps. Um, yeah, Umbrella's doing a lot of great stuff too, man. 
Yeah, they're coming to 4K, Kevin. Those were already announced. Already announced. I talked about them in the physical media report multiple times. Check it out, man. Every Monday I drop that thing. Uh, Mr. Gonzal says, what 80s or 90s movie you wish was in 4K? Mine are batteries not included and the movie Let's uh, Get Hairy. Well, 80s or 90s movie, I've pretty much talked about it. I I want, um, what did I just say? I want Twister. I want Twister on 4K. I hope we get that this year. So that's my 90s movie. Um, in 80s, I mean, definitely Nightmare on Elm Street, right? But I feel like there's a, another answer. Body Double. I, I We got promised or told we were going to get Body Double on 4K, and it kind of went silent, but I want Body Double. Uh, from Brian De Palma on 4K. Uh, why do I look yellow? I don't know. I might have to turn the... Uh, might be my lights. Do I look l less yellow now? It was kind of had a, a yellowish tint. Um, I'm sorry, though, if I look too yellow for you. Uh, let's see. Do you have movies that you find disappointing, yet you can't help but watch them over and over again? For me, Prometheus and Dark Knight Rises. Um, I don't really rewatch a ton of movies over and over again anymore, Brian. Um, and uh, if I find a movie disappointing, I'm probably not going to return to it too often. But there are movies that change over time, and your opinion on them changes over time. So I could I could see how you know you would do that, uh, want to change your opinion on it, and feel differently about the movie. So I get that. Um, Fetmatic says received aliens are true lies. Nice, nice. Uh, um, I can see, I can see that happening. I can see that happening for sure. What's the deal with the commercials? This is my third time having commercials. I don't know, man. I so I monetize the stream, okay? Because if you don't, your stream is pretty much dead on YouTube if you don't monetize it. Um, so I monetize the stream, and the way they got it set up now, at least for me. This doesn't happen on my wife and I's channel. So I don't know like what the difference is, but it gives you the option. Let YouTube choose where to put the ads and you can choose like three options. And I always choose the one that puts the least amount of ads in there. Um, the most conservative ad choice. That's the one that I choose. So I don't know why you would have three ads in 40 minutes. That doesn't seem very conservative at all. Um, of YouTube to do. So I, I don't know of any other way to do it other than just to not monetize. But like I said, that would just um, tank the stream probably. You know, YouTube wouldn't promote it as much. Um, at least I'm told that, that um, or I've heard that. Uh, Joe Reese, Ken, do you think someone will release the uh, Corey Hayne movie? Well, I already read that. What am I doing? Um I don't know. She might like it. She liked the first one uh, significantly more when we watched it the second time. So she might like it. Um, yeah, watch it on streaming too. I didn't. I didn't want to buy the Blu-ray because I feel like you know maybe it'll get a 4K. So I didn't want to buy it. I think Sony put it out too. Uh, what's up, Legend? What's up, Infinite Character? How you doing, man? We just hit 200 in the chats. 200. If you haven't hit the the like button, hit the like button. I would appreciate it. Thank you all for being here tonight. I was afraid that nobody would join and I would just be here by myself talking uh, to nobody, but uh, everybody turned out. Thank you all very much for being here. Uh, where's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? That was like, We don't need that, Kevin. No, we don't need that. We do not. Uh, the Star Wars Acolyte Disney Plus show looks uh, horrible. <laughs> I'm so done with all that Star Wars shit now. I'm just, I'm so done with it. They just killed it. They killed Star Wars. Like, I, it's funny to me how people, when the prequels came out, they all piled on the prequels and said they were the worst thing ever. And it's like, no, we are living in the worst. We are living in Star Wars hell right now with all this shit. I don't, I don't want any part of it. I like the Mandalorian, and I like the Mandalorian season two. Then they should have been done. That was a complete story. The end of the Mandalorian season two was great, and that's all they needed. Just stop. But they did Book of Boba Fett, another Mandalorian season. Um, they keep pushing their luck, and it's like you're just diluting the product and making it seem less important. Star Wars is generational. You release three movies every 20, 25 years, and that's how you handle Star Wars. You don't, it's not meant to be a big franchise that you come out with 
50 movies and 500 TV shows like every two years. That's not what Star Wars is. It's specific to that story, that Skywalker story, these specific planets, these specific characters. That's what makes Star Wars feel important. You want to go around and tell all these side stories. It's like nobody cares. Nobody cares about all these people outside the Skywalkers. And that's why you keep throwing them in randomly all throughout when the shows aren't doing well. Because you know that deep down, but you keep trying to force it and dilute the universe and you put out crap. That's my rant on Star Wars. I, I used to be the biggest fan and now I could care less about Star Wars. And it's sad. It makes me sad and bums me out. Um, Bike 269, any word on Tron Legacy 4K? No, not yet. I haven't heard the official announcement. Uh, top three in order changes. Basically. Yeah, that's really hard. That's re It's really hard to do something, to something like that. Uh, what's up, Mel? My killer podcast is here. How you doing, Mel? Hope you're doing well. Uh, Marley Sullivan, your live show was hilarious. I feel the same as Michelle and, and the hate towards the slushies. <laughs> Are you talking about the, the show I did with my wife last night? Um, yeah, she was going hard in on somebody that was uh, slurping a slushie next to us when we saw Transformers last year. Um, he was being very obnoxious. So, yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed that, Marla. Uh, these last three movies for the week, Prince is going to watch Ready Player One, Tron Legacy, and Ender's Game. Uh, I'm going to end the week with a bang. Nice. I need to see uh, Ender's Game. I have that steelbook and I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, I mean, that's sad. It's sad that people don't want to laugh. You know, I, I feel like people look at comedies as lesser than movies, and there's just so many great comedies. I don't see how you could. And I feel like people also like they don't see the point of doing a comedy in 4K. It's still a movie. You know, a lot of comedies were shot on film. A lot of comedies have great settings and, and look fantastic and, and could look fantastic in 4K. So I don't get people's point with that. Like it's a comedy, so it's not going to look better in 4K. That's ignorant. Um, so, yeah. Did you know that ViaVision is putting a proper release of the Grindhouse uh, for Planet Terror and Death Proof double features? I, I think they already did that, didn't they? I think ViaVision already did that. Um, shelving seems bigger every month. You have no room to film anymore. No, I still got some walls. I got walls in here. Um, I got a whole shelf built over there. You guys want to see it? Boop. Let me show you all around the room. Room tour. Uh, yeah, my shelf is over there. My poster's on the wall. I got a bunch of crap on the floor. And all my movies are over here to my side on the floor waiting to get slotted whenever I, I have the time. I kind of take a break on the reorganization. Um, and now this camera's not going to go back on right. Damn it. That always happens. All right. Here we are. All right. How often do you get recognized in public by a subscriber? It's only happened... Uh, twice i think um person may be watching now or maybe on the replay but i saw a, a subscriber at barnes and noble last year for the criterion sale and he was just like ken is that you i'm like yep i'm here buying criterion buddy um so i talked with him for just a second a small second and uh i feel like there was another time too but i can't um maybe it was just somebody that saw me and said that they didn't want to come up to me um i don't know which, if you see me on public, by all means, come up and say hi. Um, you might be very disappointed by me uh, in person, but come say hi. Uh, let's see. Rickety Stenickety, is that the John Cena movie? I don't know, Dr. Steinman. Um, I mean, that box set was supposed to come out in the UK, and then it got delayed. Um, I'm sure it's going to come out this year, but they're just holding back on it for some reason. All right. Weirdos. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying or not saying anything about true lies on 4k. Um, I'm not saying there's not stuff to be negative about. I'm not saying there's a bunch of stuff to be negative about. I'll review it. You'll, you'll see what I have to say. Uh, what's up, Johnny Darko? Yeah, it does look iffy, especially after seeing the great movie that uh, Godzilla Minus One was. Um, that just kind of feels like uh, more childish now, I guess, that whole universe. 
Uh, but they're still entertaining enough. I mean, we're going to take the kids to go see them. We're supposed to go see Ghostbusters. I'm off on Saturday. We're supposed to go to see Ghostbusters on Saturday, which I've been very vocal about how I haven't liked the trailers for the new Ghostbusters movie and the promotional materials. I just don't think it looks that good. And honestly, the more I'm removed from Afterlife, I feel like that movie, like I saw it in the theaters and I was like, that was great when I get out of it. And then when I got to thinking about it, like a couple weeks later, I was like, was that really great? Or was it just a retread of the first one um, done not as good? And then they added, they tried to hit you in your heartstrings at the end with a bunch of nostalgia and seeing, um, seeing Harold Ramis, you know, again as the ghost. And that kind of just ended on a high note. It kind of made you feel like you just saw a great movie when you didn't. Um, so I haven't returned to that one, but I, I'm going to watch Frozen Empire with an open mind, and I hope that I enjoy it. Um, classic action films released on 4K this year. Lots of Van Damme and Schwarzeneggers. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. We need more action. More action steel books and special 4K editions. And I got Raw Deal on 4K. Somebody sent me that, so I need to watch that. Um, oh, Mitchell Thomas says, Ken, I'm starting to burn out on collecting. I love movies, but with so much coming out, I'm finding it hard to keep up. And I'm Australian, so nearly everything I want to collect, I have to import. Well, that right there, man, can burn you out quick because I felt the burnout for sure. Um, you know, I'm trying not to buy everything. I know you guys look at me sometimes, you're like, Ken buys everything. There's still stuff I don't buy. There's quite a bit of stuff I don't buy. I'm trying to make smarter decisions. I am in a fortunate position where I do get stuff sent to me um, by certain labels and companies and studios, not everything, but some stuff. So that definitely helps the burden, uh, the financial, the financial burden a little bit. But um, I get it, man. If you're in Australia, you got to import all this stuff. The cost gets very high and that would definitely burn me out for sure. Um, but I, I say, you know, if collecting movies is starting to make you unhappy, then you have to reevaluate the way you're doing things because this should be a hobby that brings you joy and happiness. And if it's not doing that, then I think you have to take a step back and just reevaluate the stuff that you're getting, maybe set a budget for yourself and hold to that budget, maybe get one release a month or something like that, uh, something that really speaks to you. And then just look back in your collection that you've amassed and already have and figure out what's what's the movies back there you haven't watched yet and enjoy the actual movies that you have already in your collection. That's something I'm trying to do a little bit more of. I'm trying to just go over to the shelf and I'm like, this is a movie I've had in the collection for way too long and I need to watch it and I'll just pull it off and I'll watch it. And that's one of the most satisfying feelings ever when you go back to your shelf and you pick a movie off that you bought maybe two or three years ago. You haven't watched yet. You don't have a good reason why you haven't watched it. You pick it off and you watch it and it's it's off your list. You justified your purchase by watching and enjoying the film. And a lot of times it'll turn out to be a really great film uh, that you're like, damn, I'm glad I do have this in the collection. Now, I, I wasn't sure at first because I hadn't watched it. Now I've watched it and I'm glad it's in the collection. So um, very long winded, guys. I know I'm all over the place, but uh, yeah, just reevaluate things, man. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. I I have that on DVD. I, I need to watch that. I think it has a Blu-ray too, though. I've got Blow. That I've seen Blow before, but it's been a while. Yeah, that's a that's such a great movie. Like I want Vinegar Syndrome to do more of that type of stuff. I, I'm really digging the cine, cinematography line. No, I haven't heard anything about more copies of the crow. I didn't realize that it had sold out until about a week ago. Um, I mean, a lot of times, man, those steel books are limited and you got to jump on them and sometimes they'll come back and sometimes they won't. Um, and with the case of prey and Indiana Jones, maybe they'll come back. Sony will bring them back, but those are Disney steel books and those don't always come back. So I wouldn't guarantee, or I wouldn't anticipate they'll come back, but it's possible, I guess. All right, guys. Let me see. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I'm glad I'm yet less yellow for you. you kind of look like Homer Simpson. <laughs> Probably with the shaved head, maybe, possibly. Uh, why don't I go full bald? I just don't. 
think I would look good with the full. I like the buzz look. I don't. I don't know about the full bald with the head glistening and stuff. You know, I could you know maybe wax it and lotion it up or something. But I don't know. I just don't. I don't. Um, I don't trust that look. So. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. I like the buzz, but I always let it grow too long. I need to keep up with it a little bit more. Uh, if you can't tell, I don't really like care about my appearance all that much. I, I, I need to, I need to get better at that. I need to get, um, back into some kind of like physical exercise and routine. And I've been trying to eat better the past few weeks. Um, I'm in pain a lot. Like I've got a lot of pain and it's from like years of, uh, picking orders. I used to be an order selector at a food distribution warehouse. And I picked orders for like 15 years, lifted heavy boxes of like 60, 70 pound, 80 pound, in some cases, a hundred pound meat boxes and threw them on pallets and loaded up trucks and everything, wrapped them up, loaded them up. 15 years of that just wreaked havoc on my body. And I'm in pain like all the time, like all the time. So I, I looked up a low, um, a diet that's supposed to uh, help with your inflammation, which is what I pinpointed might be my problem. I'm just inflamed everywhere. Um, so it's it's like a Mediterranean diet. So I'm trying to eat more like salmon. Um, and I, I think uh, sardines is in that. Obviously, oats and lentils and um, kale. A lot of these type of foods. I've been trying to eat more of those the past few weeks. And I feel like I have been feeling a little bit better. Um but I need to get an exercise routine. I've been trying to walk on the treadmill and stuff more, but I need to get more into like strength training and stuff again. Cause I was in all that stuff before the pandemic hit. And then that happened and I just got out of the habit. And then I started a YouTube channel and I just, I just don't ever have time to do it anymore. Um, let's see what makes a company, a boutique label. I mean, it has to be some kind of like independent company, that's not a studio that doesn't originally own the film. Um, and they're licensing the movies and creating special editions of those movies um, to put out and to sell to people. So that's what a boutique label is. And there's several of them, Arrow Video, Criterion, um, you know, Screen Factory, Shout Factory, Kino Lorber. Those are all basically boutique labels. Basically, any company that is selling movies and making movies and distributing movies and doing the disc authoring. Um, that is not the studios, the original studios where those movies came from. That's basically a boutique label. Um, now some, I would use the term, you know, loosely on, um, some labels don't really do a ton to their releases. They just kind of slap them out on Blu-ray. Not a lot of features, not a lot of cool packaging or anything, but pretty much anything that's not a studio, you know, um, is a boutique label that, that puts out movies. No, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it because I just, I like the first one only. And it's like, I don't, I don't like the ring two that much. And I think rings is awful. So I just, I, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to make better decisions. I feel like 2022 can, what about that? No question. It's a cool new box set. It's got cool artwork, the ring. I want to see it on 4k. Let me pay $70 to get the box set. But I didn't get it. I didn't get carry on 4K. I didn't get child's play on 4K. Um, I just didn't get any of that. So, and I'm happier for it. I'll get them later sometime, maybe when they go down in price. Dude, I felt that way too. Like with all this stuff happening with the true lies and stuff, I was just like, I'm just going to cancel it all and just screw Disney. I'm just not buying anything from them anymore. But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let them win. I want these movies. I've been waiting for these movies. I want them in the collection. So I'll just get them when I get them. I'm not going to stress out about them. All right, guys. I'm going to start wrapping things up in about 15, 20 minutes probably. So if you haven't, uh, if you want to ask me something or anything, go ahead and drop your question in the chats. Yeah, they do. Like, I remember in the beginning, it was like, okay, we're off to a good start. WandaVision, Mandalorian, those are some pretty solid shows. And then they just all felt like, you know, they're all shot on like a green st screen stage. And it just I, you just feel like everything's shot in the same spot, you know? And it's like, they're, all right, this room's tied up for the next, the Marvel show. 
and then they get done and then the star Wars people come in um, and they're just like rotating in and out. It's just, I don't know. It feels extremely generic. I don't, I just, I don't understand how anybody's excited for any of this shit anymore. I, I just, I gotta, I don't get it. Um, but you know, to each their own. Probably she's got a potty mouth. Like, I don't feel like a lot of people understand that. My wife is uh, curses way more than I do. <laughs> way more than I do. Um, it is a shame. I watched that over the weekend. My wife and I are going to have a review out on our channel pretty soon. But what a movie. Like, I'm still thinking about that movie. I still am. And it would have looked great on 4K. For sure. Ray is the supreme gentleman, gentleman of Jedi Masters. Uh License to Drive desperately needs to be put back out on, on Blu-ray at least because uh, it's out of print and going for like $200. Uh, but Dutch, I just got that one in the collection. Uh, I think somebody sent me the DVD last year. I need to watch it. I haven't seen it. Uh, what's up, Frank's Media and Reviews? I know Frank just started his own YouTube channel, so if you haven't subscribed to Frank, go check out his channel. I'll give him a little shout out here. Uh, Scaps, besides Star Wars Episode 4, 5, and 6, I did enjoy Rogue One and Solo. Um, I liked row one. Um, I, I, solo was okay. It wasn't terrible. It was okay. Uh, super bad and Talladega nights both deserve four K's. Exactly. I would, who wouldn't buy a big premium box set edition of super bad. Come on now. Maybe not Talladega nights. I'd get a steel book of Talladega, Talladega nights. So, you know, I mean, they did a nice steel book of walk hard. That's a beautiful steel book. And that movie is so freaking hilarious. I rewatched that last month. And I was just laughing from start to finish. That movie is far funnier than I remembered. Uh, so freaking good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that, that could be part of it for sure. That could be part of it for sure. Like, I would love the jerk with Steve Martin to get some kind of like premium 4K set. Like, that would be amazing. Um. Yeah, I've, I've heard that rumor. Uh, that, that rumor was first brought out like two years ago, I think. But uh, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I just hope they release five and six individually because that would suck for people that bought that one through four set last year to not get, be able to get five and six individually. That would piss a lot of people off for sure. Oh, we did get a super chat from Mohawk Vader. $2 says, what movie you have that you wish uh, had a slip most. Um, that's a tough one because there's a lot of stuff I wish I had a slip for. Um, I'm trying to think if there's one. If there's one that I want a slip for the most. I will say for right now, I'll say RoboCop 2 because I got them both together and RoboCop 3 came with a slip and RoboCop 2 came without one. And of course I've got a nice hard box edition of RoboCop. So I want a slip for RoboCop 2 to match the third one. So I'll say that one for now, but that's a tough one to, um, to answer off the top of my head. Um, I try not to get too bent out of shape over slips. I mean, we talked about it in the chat on, on planet CHH's channel, but I've really moved into, I like to get a slip, but I don't go crazy for slips. Um, I'm really more into premium box set editions at this point. Um, that's kind of my 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 bread and butter. Um, I'm trying to, Johnny. I'm trying to. Uh, what's up, John? Nice to see you, man. Just want to slip in and say hello. Hope you and your family are doing well. Hope you and your family are doing well, John. Um, uh, B-A-H- E.T., $5 Super Chat, uh, thank you so much. What is your process for finding the movie you want to watch on any given night? Well, a lot of the stuff that I have, I'm trying to watch uh, for one reason or, or another uh, for the channel. So, And a lot of that stuff end up, ends up being like new releases. So most of the time, I know what I need to watch, and I try to stick to that. But also, I just like, like I said earlier... I like just walking over to the shelf and just standing over there for about 10, 15 minutes and picking something out, you know, um, you know, maybe I don't have a lot of stuff to catch up on. I'm like, you know what? I just want to watch something in the collection already. I'll go over there, just grab it off the shelf and watch it. And, um, but yeah, as far as my process, I wish I was more organized. Uh, 
I started reading this book um, that I showed off a couple of weeks ago on Physical Media Lives, but Neon Nightmares, L.A. Thrillers of the 1980s. And there was a section in the beginning. Look, I'm so far in the book, guys. I'm like 40 pages in. There's a section in the beginning uh, talking about all the how the LA, L.A. Noir film got started. Um, and it goes back to double indemnity. And I was like, I haven't watched this movie yet. And I've been sitting on the 4k for the past two years. So I went back there to the shelf and I grabbed the damn criterion 4k and I watched the movie and I loved the movie. Uh, so after that, I watched uh, detour, uh, which I watched that one on Tubi. It has a criterion, but I don't have it, uh, because the book brought up detour and, um, then it brought up hardcore, uh, with, um, George C. Scott, uh, towards the end of the, cause it did a whole like section where it was talking about movies, but cause this book's based on the eighties and it did a whole section based on all the decades before the eighties that kind of led into the LA noir of the eighties, the Hollywood, uh, thriller of the eighties. And it brought up hardcore with George C. Scott as being like the last, um, LA thriller before the eighties era started. And I have that Kino Lorber and I've heard great things about the movie. So I popped that one in and watched it. And that movie was freaking amazing. I love that. If you don't have the movie hardcore from Kino Lorber, I definitely recommend that. Like for me, that, that was written and directed by Paul S. Schrader, who also wrote Taxi Driver. It feels like it plays and operates in the same world as Taxi Driver. But I'm going to be honest, and I love Taxi Driver. I might like hardcore a little bit more than taxi driver. Um, I don't think it's as iconic because Robert De Niro in that role is just so iconic, but hardcore with George C. Scott is one of the best movies I've ever seen. Um, and I absolutely loved it. So I, I would have loved for that to get a 4k, uh, but it looked really good. Like I think Kino did a new 4k scan on it and it looked great, but that movie blew my mind. I thought it was so freaking awesome. Just the filmmaking style, the performance by George C. Scott was great. The music, the score was incredible. And just the story was super cool and very original. It went into tons of, of uh, great twists and turns. So yeah, a lot of times it's just some things inspire me. And then I just kind of go down a rabbit hole and I'm trying to let my interests uh, guide me, like what I'm interested in, guide me to the next movie, um, to the next discovery when I don't have to watch stuff for review, which sometimes can get a little boring if I know what I'm going to watch and it's all laid out for me. Um, that can get a little boring. So I like to mix it up and just pick out something at random because uh, that's the fun of it at the end of the day. But I will tell you guys one thing real quick. Um, I do have a bunch of umbrella stuff in. And the one big thing that I finally got in, I'll go ahead and, and tease this and show it off, um, is my Super Mario Brothers <laughs> big chunky uh, 4K set right here. So look forward to a review and unboxing of this pretty soon. Um, but first, we've got a, a stream plan where we're all going to box it together um, on there. But I'm not going to give any information out on that until it's official. But I'll definitely be doing a review for that and all the January umbrella stuff soon on the channel. But uh, let me go back up, see if I missed anything. Uh, My Killer Podcast says, the best thing is to blind buy a movie and watch it later to find a complete gem. Love that. I know it. It's Isn't that why we collect? It's almost like we're building our own like video store. And what do you do in a video store? Like You go in there and you see a bunch of movies, walls, wall of movies, a lot of which you've never seen and you're just browsing and you're picking stuff out. And some people don't understand that. They're like, oh, I just like to buy the movies that I've seen and I know I love. But for me, I like to, I love to blind buy. I love to buy, buy stuff I've never seen, put it back there, catalog it in the collection and then have it as an option later on when I'm browsing, I get to pick it out. Like I'm at a video store. My own house is a video store. Uh, which, like I said, some people might think that's stupid, but I, I love that. It's one of my favorite things about uh, collecting. So, yeah, I, I definitely agree. Uh, Time Cop 4K would be great. Um, yes, I really want to say. I know the reviews are starting to come out, and they're pretty positive, but uh, I've heard some really great things about it, so I'm excited for it. Hopefully it gets a, a physical release. Uh, House Party would be great in 4K. 
Absolutely. You refer to me, you refer to the hillbilly hunter and I will speak to you in that way. What's going on there, Scappy? How you doing, buddy? I'm going to let me take over to the VHS collection. We'll look at it together. Hell yeah, boy. Um, just received a copy of Killers of Flower Moon, uh, 4K from Italy, 4K picture transfer as Dolby Vision, DTS HD Master, no Atmos, but it sounds good. Nice. I am I hope you got it to play because I know some people are having some issues with that because it was region locked. Um, house Party. Yeah, a lot of people want House Party. Uh, yeah, like some of the comedies like from the 80s and 90s like have great soundtracks that would sound fantastic in Atmos. Um Uh, best $70 to spend on one movie. I hope it looks great. I hope the ring looks great. I'm sure they all look good. I mean, Screen Factor does a good job uh, with their transfers. But uh, let's see, guys. I have, it's been a long time, but I have seen that. I have seen that. Um, Showtime? I don't think I've seen Showtime. I remember, I remember when that came out, but I didn't watch it. Um, Good evening. What's up, KMG? What's up, KB? How you doing, buddy? Uh, nice double feature tonight. Glad you can join me. I know you had a stream earlier. Everybody go check out KB's stream. He did a Lost Girl stream. Uh, you're a handsome man, Ken. Don't let everybody tell you different. Uh, I got plenty of people that tell me different. Yeah, I'm trying to do that as well, LA Jewel. I'm trying to cut out sugar because that's a part of the diet. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to do better. Not that I ate like crap before, but like I just need to eat more of these foods that are supposed to be better for my um, my health. I'm getting old, guys. Like it's it's creeping up on me. Like I am. Um, and I know this doesn't mean anything to people that are that are older, um, but I am going to be forty next year. And that is is really starting to hit me. I'm going through just a tiny <laughs> midlife crisis. So if you think if you see things changing on the channel suddenly, um, and some things going crazy for a little bit, and me making weird decisions, it's because I'm going through a midlife crisis. You can just go ahead and call it like it is. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's different, you know, because next year will be here before I know it. Uh, it's time for the omen and let the right one in to have a 4k. Definitely. Hopefully Sony does right by omen fans and puts out the omen. I did. I, I can't wait to get that. I cannot wait to get that. I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to pre-order that. Uh, let's see. He hates these cans. I've heard good things about Andor. I have. Um, I've thought about that, Dingo Boy. Um, just my regular Blu-rays. I think when I reorganize all of them, I'm, I'm going to take the slipcovers off all the, the studio Blu-rays. Now, the boutique Blu-rays, I'm not. Um, but the studio ones, I will. Don't say I'm into slips at my local bar and restaurant out loud. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we'll get James Bond on 4K anytime soon. I don't know what the deal is. Feel good movie. It's definitely not a feel good movie. Um, yeah, turn. Oh my God. He like that scene was like so perfectly performed. Like it was, you saw like every range of emotion. And he just played it masterfully. It, it, it was so great. I love that movie. Uh, what's going on, Dell? All right, guys. I'm going to be wrapping it up here in a second. If you all have any last minute things to say, we got Chaz in here. Hey, Ken, lost in translation. Yeah, it's supposed to be. I mean, sometimes Kino will announce stuff and then it'll be quiet for like, months and then it'll it'll come out they'll announce it all of a sudden i think they announced bad lieutenant like half a year ago but in the case of face off and kindergarten cop it took them a full year to get those official announcements out uh 
Yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I mean, you do have to try to be a little bit more selective sometimes because you never know what you're getting. But I'm kind of in this mode right now where as long as it's a movie and it feels like it's a movie and it's got some cinematic value, like I can take some enjoyment out of it. And usually they'll have some good special features to go along with it. Good documentary. And I'll enjoy it. Like I've got this right here. And I haven't really talked about it on the channel, but this was one I just picked up off the shelf and watched randomly. Evil Laugh uh, from Vinegar Syndrome. And I bought this during one of the sales. And the movie itself is pretty generic slasher from the 80s. Um, but this is a full documentary. I think it's like 85 minutes. And it goes into the making of this movie and the cast and the crew is all there talking about it. Um, the director was not, I think he passed away, but the director of this movie is actually the overweight kid with the chocolate bar that gets killed at the beginning of Friday the 13th, a new beginning. So that was pretty interesting. One of the lead characters is Scott Bayo's brother. And I found the making of documentary, uh, to be more interesting than the film itself. But by the time I was done watching the documentary, I actually had more of a, an appreciation for the movie. So sometimes that'll happen. And these labels, like they just do great work uh, with the features and the restorations and all that stuff. So um, this was fun, though. I enjoyed Evil Life. I would recommend that Vinegar Syndrome release if you see it in a sale or something. Um, let's see. Manuel says, do you sort anything other than alphabetical? I know you separate your boutique labels. Yeah, I didn't bother to put my boutique labels in alphabetical order. My Blu-rays are in alphabetical and my 4Ks are in alphabetical. Um, my Criterions are in spine number order. And most every other boutique that I have on the shelf is in spine number order if it has a spine number. Um, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to have to change multiple things. I, did, I don't like alphabetical. I really don't. It's too hard to slot stuff when, when you buy it, move stuff over. It's just, it's a hassle. Uh, what's up, 4K Media Guy? Do you think Walmart will carry the camera 4Ks in stores? I'm going to check tomorrow and see if mine do, because I have heard some people say they found them in stores. Um, so maybe. CJ Goldeneye, no time to die. I was filmed in my London area. Yeah. If anything, I would want uh, the the Brosnan movies in 4K, like Goldeneye and... Um, uh, die another day and, uh, uh, the world is not enough. I can't remember the other one. Um, the one with Michelle Yeoh, but I grew up with those. So I would love those in 4k. Uh, nice. Glad it looked good. Glad, it, glad the 4k was good enough to justify $70 for one movie. Uh, let Sony, let's let Sony release revenge of the nerds. Yes. Yes. I would love it. OG house party, not the alpha remake <laughs> for sure, man. What's up, Dale? Uh, for sure. For sure. I love blind buys. Yeah. Yeah. Turning 40 soon. Yeah. It sucks. Doesn't it? Uh, nope, not yet. Mountain Dew makes an excellent substitute for water. See, I've got this. Um, it's like a cola drink. It's called Zevia. And I love Diet Coke. Like I was addicted to Diet Coke for a long time. But Diet Coke, they put stuff in it. Like what's it called? Like aspartame or something um, in it. And it's stuff that's not good for you. And this is an alternative that is better for you and doesn't have all that crap in it. Um so I started drinking these. The only problem is they're a little bit more expensive than Diet Coke. But I don't know. Like Diet Coke's kind of expensive now, too. Um, so I, I started drinking these again. I stopped drinking them for a little bit. But they're pretty good. Uh, no sugar or anything like that. Yeah, I. you know what? I have noticed that with Kino... Um, they I've always done slips here and there, but I've noticed recently, like it feels like almost everything is getting a slip now. Almost everything is getting a slip. So that is definitely um they've definitely leaned more into the collector aspect of the market for sure. Um yeah, we need Twister and 4K for sure. Um I mean, the pre-order was up on Amazon, apparently, for, um, I mean, I linked it in a physical media report. I think it was up for April the 16th, but 
Screen Factory hasn't put it on their website, which I still think is puzzling, and I don't know why. So that's the weird thing. It's like the faculty is on Amazon. Uh, let me check this real quick. I mean, I'll bring it up. Let me check Blu-ray.com. You guys want to check Blu-ray.com real quick before we get out of here? All right. So I'm on Blu-ray.com. And the Iron Claw went down in price a little bit. 1996. That hasn't come out yet, but it's available to pre-order. Um, but let's type in the faculty. The faculty 4K collector's edition. Okay, so it doesn't have a date next to it. There's no date next to it anymore. I think there was a date. But let's open that up. And you can't find it on Amazon. So I don't know if the faculty's on Amazon to pre-order anymore. But yeah, that's weird. Guys, I made a whole video, but I think there's a conspiracy um, surrounding Robert Rodriguez and his films going to 4K. I think somebody is stopping at nothing to make sure that none of them ever come to 4K. Um, somebody's trying to block all of his movies from coming to 4K. There's something, something's happening and it's insidious and I don't understand what. But we definitely need the faculty on 4K and I hope it comes out this year at least. But I mean, From Dust Till Dawn was announced, getting ready to come out, all of a sudden disappears. Desperado, Arrow Video starts putting cards in all the releases, signifying that Desperado is coming to 4K from Arrow Video. And then all of a sudden, that goes away. Nothing. Um, and uh, I feel like there was one other example. Um, but it's like a Robert Rodriguez curse uh, for his movies coming to 4K. It just doesn't seem to be in the cards. But I want the faculty on 4K. It's one of my favorite movies of the 90s. And guys, let me bring this up real quick. What is this? Oh, my goodness. $100 Super Chat from Carrie. Um, Carrie, that is, that is way too generous, way too generous. Um, but thank you so much for you, Ken and Michelle and your kids mate. Enjoy it. Carrie from Australia. Oh my goodness, Carrie. That is, um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is, that is too much. Um, I appreciate that. I do appreciate that very much. So if you have a question, put it in Carrie real quick. I'll stay a little bit later and and answer it. I appreciate that so much. Uh, Manuel says, I sent a, I semi double featured doom with imaginary today was like leaving the steakhouse to go get <laughs> desert dessert at the gas station. I bet it was. I bet it was. I was just glad that I liked Dune the part one better. Cause I didn't really like it that much. The first time I watched it, but I, I liked it a lot more. I think cause I was just really tired the first time I watched it. No, I I don't I I stayed away from that. Like, why are they remaking that? Come on, come on! You don't need to remake that movie. Uh, Gabby G says, "Do you recommend buying the collection of Spider-Man movies or wait for the 4K for each movie?" Well, all the Spider-Man movies are on 4K. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, they are. All, they're all on 4K, Gabby. So go check out Amazon. They're all on there. Um, I think the Sam Raimi is in like a little trilogy digi book and the amazing Spider-Man movies, a little trilogy digi book. Um, both the new Spider-Verse movies are on 4k and all the Tom Holland, um, uh, Spider-Man movies are on 4k. So they're all on 4k. Just go check on Amazon unless they sold out for some reason. David Martinez says my brother buys those and I try them. They're, they're not bad. Oh, the Xevious. Yeah, I like them. They got like cherry cola and Mountain Dew flavors and other stuff too. Thank you, John. Yeah, smash the like button. Hopefully Paramount will release 4K of the Ring by itself somewhere down. I'm, I hope so too. But you know what? I got that nice steel book of the Ring and um, I'm fine with that. You know, if they never release it on 4K and I never buy that set from Screen Factor, which maybe I won't. If it never goes down in price, I might not. I'm happy with the steel book. What's up, Ralph? Ralphiel VP. Uh, hope you're doing well. Kind of a repetitive question, but now that Best Buy is out of physical media loop, where do you get your physical media now? Walmart's online. Pretty much um, for like new studio stuff, I go Amazon mostly. It's my Walmart is 
you know, it's heads or tails if they're even going to have the release I want there. So I don't really check there first. So I don't use Walmart a ton unless there's a steelbook I want and I might pre-order it. Um, so pretty much Amazon and there's other great websites like Groove um, and uh, trying to think of some of the Diabolic, Orbits. And I use mo those mostly for like, you know, the premium stuff, um, the boutique stuff. Um, but a lot of the labels I'll buy directly from their site. I buy Kinos from the Kinos site. I buy Vinegar Syndrome from the Vinegar Syndrome site. Severin from the Severin site, which I did get that Severin bundle recently. <laughs> I freaking splurged and got that Severin bundle, um, which I have never bought a Severin bundle before, but I'm excited to get it. There was a lot of good movies in there that I was interested in. Um, so yeah, I try to buy from the labels directly if I can. Screen Factory, I'll get from their site every now and then. Um, other than that, you know, Amazon mostly is what I use. Um, but yeah. They did, Joe, yeah. I need to watch it. That's another one I just need to pull off the shelf because I got the keynote back there. Um All right. No, I don't think we'll get steals of those movies. I can't see that happening. I can't see that happening. Um, but maybe. I mean, anything's possible, right? I mean, it's possible. I would love it. I would rebuy them, to be honest. Uh, just don't put the same Leaf Michael Myers artwork on a steel book. Do something different. Um, I haven't seen Patton Pure Hangout, no. I haven't seen Patton. That's a big one I need to see. I'm kind of holding out for a 4K, and I think that's Fox, actually. So maybe Sony will do it. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen that one. I need to watch it. Uh, Carrie, it's my absolute pleasure, Kim, my friend. I really like your channel, and I always watch your physical media report, and you and Michelle go live. Um, well, thank you again. Thank you. For, extremely generous, and I really, really appreciate it. Um, but that's it, guys. John Doe Juggalo. Have a great night, Jen. Thank you, John. Uh, thank you for another pleasant stream. Thank you all for being here and enjoying the stream. And I feel like we had a good conversation, talked about a lot of cool stuff tonight. I like these uh, streams where I don't go into it with a topic. I have no agenda. I have nothing I have to get to. It's just me and you all talking, answering questions. I like that kind of stuff. So um, I'll be back hopefully sooner rather than later, maybe next week or the week after. Um, but I appreciate you guys uh, joining me. Um, as for what's coming to the channel this week, True Lies Review for sure will be coming. Um, let me get these off the shelf real quick. I did get uh, my Possessor and Green Room Second Sight Edition, so that review will be coming tomorrow of both of these. I dug into both of these special features and everything. Um, so I just reviewed them both in the same video. So I'm going to drop that tomorrow. Um, I've also got a video, a special video showing off some premium additions in my collection that I've never unboxed and I unbox them for you guys. And I've got a video, uh, talking about touchstone movies that I want to see come to 4k. Cause a lot of people liked my Fox video, said they wanted to see me tackle touchstone Hollywood pictures. So I will be doing that as well. And yeah. Tons of good stuff coming. Physical Media Report next Monday. I appreciate you guys being here tonight. Like this stream if you haven't yet liked the stream. And leave me a comment after the stream as well. That that helps out the algorithm and, and all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you guys joining me and everybody that that donated a, a, a Super Chats and, and all that good stuff. I, I promise it's going to go to the channel. We're going to make some upgrades in this room. Computer upgrades hopefully soon. Um, and I appreciate you guys. I'll see you later.